Item G, District Matters, Item Number One, MOU between Marinewood Firefighters Local 1775, <coughs> excuse me, and the Marinewood Community Service District. We have a, an agreement to approve. Hallelujah. Do I have a motion? So I have to approve it. Second. Second. All right. Any discussion among the board? Uh, finally. Yes. After. I want to say four years. Finally, we're going to do it. I think we should just do it and move on. Okay. Any comments from the public? Stephen? Yeah, uh, so obviously this is going to affect uh, our long-term liabilities. And has there been an independent analysis of this? Has there been outreach to the community? What uh, the increased liabilities uh, entail. I think, um, I, you know, I, I support the firefighters. I support Chief Gray. I actually support the concept of a unified uh, fighting, uh, firefighting uh, team. Um, and I believe that, uh, you know, having it under one wheelhouse is, is our long-term objective. I think that would be better for the firefighters. I understand the guys get paid more. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, certainly it's a bigger force, and they they have an opportunity to move up. So, and and our community, we really don't have the ability to manage these union contracts and the demands upon us. I think we need something, uh, a, a situation like the sheriff's department, where we're uh, contributing a fee. But um, in terms of the, the managerial part of it, I think it's really too much for our, you know, volunteer, uh, volunteer uh, uh, politicians and, and uh, our staff. So I would encourage you to, A, do an analysis of what you're about to sign, and don't do it if you don't know what it is, and two, uh, really seriously, seriously explore the option of a merger. Um, and I know this has been discussed before, and it's got to be fair to the, the, the citizens as well as the firefighters. Right now we're subsidizing our, fire, uh, our, our neighbors, and uh, that doesn't seem to be right. So that's it. Yeah, I'd just like to uh, make the point that uh, LAFCO, after three years of doing nothing, is finally going to come up with recommendations for the uh, special districts in North San Rafael, which includes Marinwood, and they will do an in-depth study and come up with recommendations. Uh, at the rather leisurely pace they work, I don't expect anything uh, pretty soon, but there is an independent study by LAFCO that's going to be done on these issues. <clears throat> Thank you. Linda? Are we still talking about the MOU? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I'm extremely pleased that after all these years, things are being put into place. When I read it, I wasn't thinking about the extra liability. I was thinking about the pittance amount of raises that they're getting compared with if you look at California, um, you know, there's websites that show the, the amounts of money that <coughs> San Rafael firefighters get and that Marin would get. So, I mean, definitely Marin would is the lowest paid of anybody in Marin. However, I'm just extremely happy that they are going to get some raises and I'm really happy about the paramedic piece of it. I don't know, I, I couldn't understand some of the legalese in there and whether or not the paramedic uh, situation is happening immediately, but I think it's fabulous that after years and years of promising paramedics in Marinwood, even though we have paramedics on our team here, they can't do their thing because we don't have a contract for paramedics. So I'm hoping that this is solidifying the paramedic piece of it and that we are going to have paramedics. So I'm just extremely pleased and I hope you will all approve it because um, to me it's certainly better than 
anything we've had in the last three and a half years waiting for an MOU. So I hope you approve it. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. All right, I'm going to call the question. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.